What is up guys, Abugran here today with another fantastic deck. Well, today's deck is a Sheffield winning deck, Sheffield winning Guardian deck, and we're going to talk about that deck in a second, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and that down there below in the description I have a 5% discount on any code with purchase on Professor Oak. Alright. So, a Guardian deck, a deck that was underrated for many, 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 many months. And excuse me, now it's finally shining, right? It's finally becoming this fantastic tier 1 that everyone wants to play, that every control player, every stall player, every uh, player wants to play. So let's just talk about cards itself. We got a fairy song, of course you're searching for two uh, fairy type energies, you attach it uh, to your benched Pokemon. Kaleido Storm, 150 damage and you move around the energy, plus Magical Miracle when you have six energies, you're not only dealing 200 damage but also you get rid of your opponent's hand, you just put that hand back to their deck and they are left with, you know, with the top decking quite amazing magic card. So we've got four uh, Guardians here in that deck and also one Xerneas GX for the overrun so you hit that bench as well and for Aurora Orns for 120 if you need only no attackers for two prize cards. Plus of course Sanctuary GX sometimes you're gonna need it right uh, to move all the damage counters from each of your Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon, because let's be honest, you know the damage is going to be on your uh, on your guardians, and you want to move it, and you want to claim them. You don't want to do anything else. So th that's it. Five Pokemon's only. Four guardians to Zer uh, one Zernia. Sorry. Then we had one adventure bag, of course, to get the tools that we need. And the tools are going to be fairy charms that I'm going to talk about in a second. Three cherish balls, four custom catchers, two energy spinners, three great potions. Quite important card uh, to heal that 50 damage from our active GX Pokemon, which is a tag team or not. It heals him, and that might be a day and night that might be knockout or not to for many situations and for many many matchups of course four pocket gears two reset stamps play set of switches and we've got speaking of switches two tax switches because we're going to be switching the energy uh, all together four power plants why there are four power plants well not only getting rid of caldeo not only getting rid of mu and mewtwo but so many other gx that utilize uh, abilities zara aura for example right we want to neutralize them that's why we have those four power plants then of course one wonders labyrinth that uh, makes our opponents attacks cost one more quite good card uh, I actually played that in a Picarum uh, or in a Choo Choo deck I think I yeah I played it in a, our version of uh, the Choo Choo deck and that was a quite fantastic tech card for that deck here of course it does not affect us because we are a fairy type Pokemon but it does affect our opponents definitely uh, one builds analysis a place it of coach trainer so draw off four if we have a tag team uh, as an active Place it of green exploration because of course we do not have any abilities. A one choice helmet, quite important card, especially when you're playing uh, against hard hitting tag teams like Mew Mew, when you're playing against uh, Picaram, or when you're playing against Reshazad. And on top of that, something that is really crucial six fairy charms and there are two electric type fairy charms of course electric type GX's and EX's can't do anything we've got psychic type so psychic type GX's can't do anything uh, to us and of course UB so ultra beasts which this one actually neglects uh, of course placeful on GX how amazing is that and I think you know nine energy of course as well and I think because uh, this deck won Sheffield and because uh, we're seeing so many tools being used right now people will might play a lot more uh, Lysander's lab but again you just discard it with your uh, own stadium so that is not really a big deal not really a problem we're gonna save the deck now the whole deck in th is in the description down there below you can check it out yourself but let's go and let's play those two games and of course I have sleeves today on that deck don't worry we've got sleeves on that deck so do you want to go first or you want to go second uh, honestly I do on prefer going uh, going second with this deck it's okay uh, for me to go second because I can already attack uh, with uh, our guardian but if you're gonna go first then there's nothing you know nothing's gonna ha really happen 
but preferable way is going second right you now just getting that energy going uh, with 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 their first attack and why can we can't honestly find any opponent right like it seems like you know there's less and less opponents currently in the game or the game's matchmatching is not good oh it's oh my goodness like it was so it was itching and it like really hurt it was really bad all right so we have an advantage bar which is okay i mean uh it makes sense and we've won the coin flip so what i'm gonna do is first i'm gonna go second so i'm gonna let my opponent go first i'm gonna go second and let's see, of course there are going to be mulligans, right? We're only playing five Pokemon, so you have to understand there are going to be mulligans happening. But as you can see, uh, the deck utilizes anything but Miss Magus. And this is something I said two months ago, that we're not going to be using Miss Magus anymore. Because the Turbo Guardian, it's okay, but it's not really as good as uh, the normal a normal version and there we go so we've got a nice uh, garden over here of course fairy song for our second turn let's see what we are facing here grimmer and all right so this is going to be a zoro ninja deck that's it like this is zoro ninja deck uh with some with some uh carvanas and of course her excuse me sharpedos and that's it let's look at the coffee It's good, it's a little bit sweet, but it's still in the tier one, tier one spot. And as I said, we got a Zoro Ninja here. So everything in my brain and my head tells me to actually <coughs> custom catcher of that one Carvana here. But it's gonna take some time, like, I have to build my board. And slowly, slowly uh, go, ooh, Mega Sableye and Tyranitar, like, that's something you should not really play uh, at the beginning of the game. This is, you know, one of those cards that you play late game. We've got a Weevil. All right, so this is... Okay, it's Dark Box. Okay, I, I like guessing uh, what am I facing. Mm, as you know, all right, so... Pokegear 3.0. Let's see. Nothing. Pokegear 3.0. And we've got Green's Exploration. Fantastic. So... What I'm gonna do is, mm, that's only one retreat cost. So, Green's Exploration, um, Cherish Ball, and I'm thinking about that Custom Catcher, to be quite honest. Let me look at the hand. Um, I've got a switch. I know if I'm going to draw the energy, so you know what, uh, I'm going to just prepare myself and I'm going to get that tax switch. So just me preparing my next turn, to be quite honest. So, of course, we're taking Guardian. There we go. And a nice fairy song. Two energies. And because we're playing nine, right? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Three are in prize cards, and I kind of made a mistake because uh, I had energy in my hand. So maybe I could have gone for that, for that, and another custom catcher. But also, I feel like you know it's it's okay. Like it's still okay to 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 go this way. I mean, this Mega Sableye just bags for the knockout. <laughs> Uh, to be quite honest with you, it just begs for that knockout. Sneasel, Carvana, okay. Of course, we also got the, those power plants. We've got, you know, ways to, 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 to start dealing the damage. Like, I'm trying to understand, you know, a long Grimmer here, and I think this is, you know, this is a card to use Collect on and just draw those uh, additional cards. Because you can't really know, you can't really do anything else. And that's exactly what he did. Let's see, we've got a switch. Okay. Kaleido Storm, that's a knockout, and one of the energies is gonna go on the benched one, so we have 
two with two energies. That's quite okay. We might draw the energy because three energies are prized. And there we go. So we've got the energy uh, right now. And now my opponent has to think. Like, he is probably going to go for Sharpedo at this point. He might have it in hand. He has the Weevil. Mega Sableye, okay. So even uh, with Gigafall, that's 250, that's 10 not enough to knock out Guardian. Oh, he's thinking hard, like, I, I can tell, like, he is thinking what to do. Hoopa, okay. Hoopa and nothing, 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 right, Pokegear. Of course, Green's Exploration, and... Well, honestly, wait, how much? I need six, right? Yes, I'm not gonna have, but honestly... Uh, I have to think now. Alright, so Green's Exploration, and you know what, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna take that Custom Catcher, uh, but also what I'm gonna take is a Power Plant, right? So Custom Catcher is gonna be the, here for a second, like, you know, I'm gonna try to just prepare the turns. And Carvana, mm, like, I don't wanna really leave Carvana on the bench here, because if he's going to evolve, he might have more energy uh, than he needs to knock me out. Plus, you know, Power Plant actually kind of destroys the idea of Weevil here changing and switching the energy. So, let's get rid of the Carvana. It's okay the way it is right now. We might draw the energy, of course. That's Fairy Charm, okay. And the little Power Plant on that, on that Weevil is working tremendously. Alright, another Carvana, like, he really wants to go for, uh, for that. Okay. So I know if I'm gonna draw the energy, I'm using a GX. And knocking out Hoopa, getting rid of his hand, and I kinda have to do that, right? Like, I have to find that energy, and uh, this turn. Because I know that would be devastating, because he's going for those... Ah, oh, we did not hit the energy. Hmm. So that GX would put me to two prize cards, so... You know what, I can just grab Cast and Catcher and start hitting Mega Sable and Tyranitar. That's what I'm gonna start hitting here. Kaleido Storm. Because as long as Power Plant's on the board, I'm quite okay, and even, you know, even if he has those five energies to attack with him, it's still not enough to knock me out. Even the GX is not enough to knock me out. But, of course, I'm a little bit scared of that Zoro Ninja and those Sharpedos. Yep, the Sharpedos are gonna be scary, and that's only one energy! Only one energy! Oh, this is, this is looking good for me. So I kind of left it. Alright, we've got Dark City, so free retreat cost, unfortunately. That's one, two, three, four, five, wait, one, five, six. Okay. All right, so he's going for Zoro Ninja. So 
So I can I can use the switch and maybe I'm gonna draw the energy. So I actually can use a GX. Of course, that's just me speculating at this point. Oh. Okay, so he, wait, is he going to use the Hoopas GX? That's really interesting. Like, I have never seen someone just going for that Hoopa GX. And that, yeah, that might be you know, the way uh, he's gonna go for it. So Dark Pulse, of course we got Resistance. And a coach trainer. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a switch. Right, that's a switch. I was gonna go tag switch, one, like from him. No, that's not enough. Oh, I messed it up. Yeah, I messed it up. Because tag switch only gives two energies. Yeah, so that was just me really messing messing up. Oh, oh boy. <clears throat> yeah, that was, that was, you can type that right down there uh, in, in, in the chat in the comment section. Misplay. Because why? Like, it says tag, so it says two. But for whatever reason, I thought, you know, I can move all the energy. And I wanted to do a Sanctuary GX. But I think because of that, I've actually... <laughs> hmm. You know what? Like, now's a good question. What is he gonna go for? Because if he's gonna go for Xerneas, I have Green's Exploration that I can play, right? And I can get two custom catchers, and I can snipe that Hoopa. Right? But if he's gonna go for... Well, the GX of Hoopa, that might be problematic, but that would mean... Retreating. Okay, so he is going for the GX, probably. Or maybe you now he's attacking the active with 160. Or maybe even not attacking and just, you know. Okay, what is he doing? Because, I mean, if Hoopa is inactive right now, I don't really have to go for custom catchers. Alright, so, so he's going for the GX, okay. Right, he went 1990, okay. Yeah, there's one mistake, right? There's one mistake with that Xerneas that's gonna cost me the game. I have to find the switch now. Oh, and we top deck the switch. Okay, so there goes switch. Great potion. Uh, I'm. Like he's not gonna hit me for that much. So, coach trainer. That's what I'm gonna do. Choice helmet. Perfect. 
Energy Spinner. On the Zernias. Magical Miracle. Getting rid of that Hoopa. Green's Exploration next turn, Custom Catcher, knocking out uh, Mega Sable and Tyranitar. And that's the game. Because now, well, he is missing three energies, actually, that, you know, he would attack with. Because those three energies were underneath Hoopa, which was kind of a risky move for him. And we've got it second Custom Catcher from prize cards. That's the game. That is the game. I don't think there's anything he can do at this point. Choice Helmet, Resistance, um, Custom Catcher on that Mega Sable and Tyranitar. And he already used a GX. But, well, okay, there's a Dark Cry. For two energies, okay. 30, 16, 90, 120, 150, 110. 240, but this might not be enough because of the Choice Helmet and the Resistance and Custom Catchers for Mega Sable and Tarantar. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. Mwah. Done. Three prize cards. Oof. That was tough, like, not gonna lie, that, that was tough, uh, the misplay was real, like, the misplay was real, but, hey, we've picked up a win, and that's what matters at the end of the day, right? Right? Yeah, right. Alright, come on. Oh, if, no, 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 uh, I'm so sorry for that, like, honestly, I'm so sorry for that. It is just absurd that something like that still happens in the 21st century, in the 2019-20, almost, 2020, for the Pokemon trading card game online. Uh, this bug is insane. At least it's not the same bug as uh, it was around uh, April, where when you won during, during your uh, versus ladder, the game just crashed. And I know it happened to... European people more often, like Stefan Ivanov was talking about it in, uh, on Twitter in some posts. But let's just go, let's play the second game, of course, because that is what we are here for with the Sheffield winning deck. Looking for opponent, let's go. Right, let's go. Good ladder prizes, of course they are good. We got Joe, hello Joe, it's Raven here. Waiting for opponent, and there we go. Of course, we've got those sleeves, heads, and we've won. We've won, so yeah, we're gonna go second again. Of course, you know, mulligan, like... <sighs> the amount of mulligans this deck has is, you know... is insane, especially IRL, you might have a lot. But that's the beauty of that deck. A consistency in uh, the starting, right? You always will start with the Guardian. And the others you can just find with Cherish Balls, so... It's not gonna be that... Hard. Oof! Why I don't like this Eve? Power Plant and you can't evolve it. And I mean, honestly, th those are just two prize cards given to your opponent. Wow. Not a huge fan of that Eevee. And that is a Mew Mew. My goodness. So that is a Mew Mew deck. I kind of forgot that the tin came out. So you know, everyone is going to be crazy on that. Alright, let's go. Definitely Power Plant. Fairy Song. Uh, of course, before that, uh, Bill's Analysis. And on top of that, because Mew Mew is psychic, what are we going to do... We're gonna find ourselves a fairy charm. A nice fairy charm. So he can't really do anything with the Mew Mew to us. And well, Bill's analysis, because I need that Cherish Ball. And there's a Cherish Ball. Plus, uh, let's look at my hand. Tag switch. Let's get a tag switch. We got Coach Trainer for the draw. Tag switch is going to be really, really nice. 
two halves of Cherish Ball. Of course, another Guardian. We're gonna play Choice Helmet on him. There we go. No need of Pokegear right now, no need of a tag switch, just the energy that has to go on the benched one. Bam, there we go, and honestly, right now, my opponent's deck is useless. Power plant, so you can't evolve into, uh, into the Vaporeon, and also, Mew Mew is useless. On top of that, we've got a Fairy Charm that works on Psychic-type Pokemon, so this means Mew Mew is useless again. That is what you call an answer to anything, honestly, and... Wait, what? Okay, is anyone gonna be just throwing Mew Mew in every single deck now? I feel like you know, everyone's gonna just throw the Mew Mew where they can, which is not always a good idea. So we got Blastoise... I feel like Blastoise is here for an engine, right? Because this is not a Welder-type engine, this is a Blastoise-type engine. But is that enough? And all right, Joymaker GX, what do you even do? Put three cards uh, from a discard pile into your hand. Really? Using a GX already for the Church Ball Pokemon Communication, Cynthia. Um, I'm stunned a little bit. Not gonna lie, um, kind of stunned. Alright, just a coach trainer, okay. So I have to find another power plant. We play four, so we might find another one in this draw, okay. Wondrous Labyrinth. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kaleido Storm. And I can play one energy, of course, on the benched one, because we've got energy spinner, right? We've got energy spinner, so I don't really have to worry about uh, the energy that I'm going to draw in this turn. I mean, honestly, I, I'm i not a huge fan of this type of uh, engine on the Mew Mew. I prefer the Welder engine, and I feel, feel like it's a little bit better uh, in terms of consistency and in terms of you know like attacking and hard hitting okay there's still power plant I what I don't understand it's like you know there's power plant and you're playing you know second the Denai as you've played first one it did not work so you play the second one hoping that it's gonna work but there's still power plant or maybe he has uh, the stadium in his hand that's gonna discard mine. Th that's still a possibility, but I just don't think like he has. Especially after him using that GX attack. So what are Mew Mew's you know, attacks? Because what, Hydro Pump? Like that, that's the only attack Mew Mew's gonna use. Now, not even, because now he's gonna use Boost Dash for 100. So the whole idea of Mimi is kind of pointless, and you know, I know I can just get rid of Power Plant, and my opponent with the Mimi still... Oh, Lysander's Lab! Ah, okay, that was... That, that was really nice. Okay, so Lysander's Lab, alright. I, mean, I still have Wonders Labyrinth, so I'm quite okay here. We play five stadiums, right? And I, I'm gonna assume his deck is playing three tops. But I just don't understand that engine. Are, is, is, it, is it an engine where you know you just go and put everything on uh, the Mew Mew? Because I mean, he could have easily just discarded uh, the Vaporeon and the Mew Mew would still work, right? Okay, so there's Vaporeon. Healed, of course. So Wondrous Labyrinth. Energy Spinner. I mean, this is really intriguing, to, 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 to be honest. It really is. 
Okay, power plant, uh, tag switch, cherish ball. Just a collide the storm. Not moving the energy this time, getting the prize. So I'm gonna assume he's gonna play the Mew Mew. There might be Lissander's lab still. There still might be Lissander's lab. Let's not, you know, let's not jump into conclusions. There might be Lissander's lab. Because I think he's searching for it at this point. Or maybe, you know, the first Lissander's lab was just to get rid of uh, power plants so he can actually do anything. Powerful Squall. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm right now. I'm just sure he's he's gonna attack. There's no lab. <sighs> I mean, I kind of feel bad for my opponent at this point. I really do. <laughs> Green's exploration, and I mean, honestly, I'm just gonna go for two power plants. There's nothing else I need. And I can just slowly, slowly attack. I mean, I understand the water type engine. It's... Okay. But if you're, if you're playing EVGX, right? Because I'm going to say why I don't like EVGX. It's just a bad attacker. Uh, let's be honest. And you only use it to evolve into Vaporeon. Of course you can search for it with Cherish Ball, so that makes it a little bit easier. But those are two prize cards you almost given away to your to your opponent. Which I mean it's not something that I would do, right? Alright, so one, two, yeah, so that's a retreat. So he might have a switch in hand. Like there might be, there might be a switch. Brock's grit, okay. He's bringing back that energy, sure. Stellar Wish. But this kind of shows me the problem right now that we have in PTCGO especially. And I, even IRL, that people take that Mew Mew and they are so convinced it just goes everywhere that they play it everywhere. Which is clearly, clearly not something that, you know, you, you should do. Because, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's not always going to be good, right? Like, it's not something that it's going to work all the time. Yeah, I'm just gonna go custom catcher for that Eevee here. There we go. Uh, and Magical Miracle, that's a knockout. Those are two prize cards. Then if I'm gonna get... Green's Exploration, for example, next turn. Because I've got the energy. I'm, just, I'm gonna just try to snipe that Mew Mew. But at the same time, I can uh, I can just play Cherish Ball, find a Xerneas, attack with him. I can use a switch and you know attack with the fresh Guardian that has a Choice Helmet. Okay, so that's forty plus. Well, 
not a bad amount. So, because there are, I still have two more greens explorations in the deck. Reset stamp to three, okay. Poke gear, that's not bad. We still got a switch. And not really an energy though. So that might be problematic, not having the energy. But we'll see what we're gonna draw from at the top of the deck. Another switch, Poke gear. Greens exploration, that's a game. That's a GG at this point. So he just gave me the win. Two custom catchers. And the Mew Mew. Kaleido Storm. There we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is, that is a Sheffield winning deck for you guys. Uh, what I think about the deck, this is one of the better decks right now in the meta. Has a ton of counters to almost anything. And definitely it's one of those decks that you really have to be careful. Because, oh my goodness, they can just destroy you. So thank you guys so much for watching that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more decks, more Pokemon TCG news. And also, don't forget to check me out live on Twitch. And down there below in the description, there's a 5% discount on any code you would purchase on Professor Oak. Goodbye, mwah, and good night. Raven loves ya. Bam, boing, boing. Bye.